Good morning guys and thanks for joining me this morning. So um for people who said they were going to teach Peter will be a lesson. I have news for you. The lesson you are teaching him is really affecting him. It's affecting him to the extent that he went to give another nursing school 10 million naira. Yes, that is how much the lesson you are teaching him is affecting him <laughs> and uh, while he's giving money out there, you people are crying all over the place because you cannot even afford your basic daily needs, food, um, uh, 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 drugs and all of that because of how much the man, you people said, tamed the Atlantic Ocean or, you know, turned uh, Lagos into paradise, is now messing Nigeria up and, you know, taking it to the ground with the speed of light. So yes, Peter Obi was in another nursing school and this time around, Reverend Father Su and students danced and were singing for him. The love, the cheers was massive. You know, uh, you know, sometimes I don't even need to stress on these things. You know how it is each time he makes a public outing. Students were all over him. This one, the security even couldn't do anything about it. They crowded him as in People they snap picture, people they and he gave a powerful speech before you know going ahead to make the donation that he did. He said he was he promised to be part of that project. You know, when it comes to education, you know how much the man values education. I'm going to be showing you, you know, snippets of that video, but before I do that, let me quickly show you another part of the corruption that is going on on the ground in the APC government as revealed by the aid of the former president Buhari what happened under Buhari is something that one cannot phantom and what is going on under Tinubu now when you hear it definitely shivers will go down your spine let me not say too much let me allow you listen to the man of how trillions of naira was not remitted and one will come back Continue, please watch. What happened with CBN? There was this issue of um, stamp duties, stamp duties, and people, some people have written School of Banking Honors. It's an NGO in the banking and banking sector. They have written a, a, a petition saying that the banks have recovered over 38 trillion over the years from stamp duties, and that this money had not been remitted. Okay? And um, they mentioned the former acting governor of the Central Bank. You know, when Imefele was removed and acting governor was appointed, that man was the chairman of, or the MD, the managing director of they call it a Nigerian something something banking system. So that is a, 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 a firm established by bankers in Nigeria. You know, so they mentioned him, and shortly after that, there was this announcement that he, he has been appointed deputy governor of the central bank. So I wrote a memo to informing President Buhari that. How can you inform, how can you appoint as deputy governor somebody who we are investigating concerning stamp duties? So those were the two memos I gave to the ADC. So he kept it for one month, one evening. He called me. He said, Mr. Abla, please, I want to see you. So I went to the villa, and he handed over those two memos to me and said, oh, this is too hot. This is too hot. Go and investigate other cases, leave this. So I left. Were you disappointed, Dan? I, I was. I was. I thought I had find somebody who could An help ally. me. You know, yeah, because I know I was in trouble. There was so much pressure on me. You know, so and uh, things were not going on well, and uh, I didn't have help from the government that appointed me. I, they had they not given me what I had asked for. So I was emboldened when the president told me, "Oh, go and do your work." But on January. 2019. I was in Calabar. I went for, because the president was coming to Calabar to campaign. My PA called me from my office number to say that 
there was a letter from the vice president's office saying that the panel should be suspended. Of course, um, I, I walked to the, the same ADC because they sent the, 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 that mail, the letter, you know, through my WhatsApp and say, oh, this is what I, I have received. Oh, it's, and say, oh, go and do your work. Of course, I, I didn't comply with the letter. I, I continued doing my work until August when I was suspended. All right, welcome back, guys. I guess you saw it. I guess you heard him. Now, and we expect Nigeria to develop. Like I said yesterday, when I showed you part one of the revelation he made, how do we expect that these people will not fight Peter or be tooth and nail because of all these things that is being revealed now, that is ongoing in the system, that they know that if he's in charge, things like this will not happen. Those who are benefiting from it will fight now. Imagine someone having $69 billion from the report I gave you yesterday from crude oil sales to himself. Then look at this one again. So you see the kind of massive corruption going under the APC. And you can't even say a word because it leaves you shocked while Nigerians are suffering out there in the streets. Now, having said that, let me show you uh, Peter Obi's outing. And when we come back, we'll wrap up. Please watch. <laughs> guys i guess you saw it what a man what a man yes you know one thing you can't take away from this man is his steez and composure you can't take away the organic love the masses have for him that is why he's referred to as the people's president because yes the people indeed voted for him to be president but the powers that be decided that no, it's not time for Nigeria to be free. The man is loved, the man is valued, the man is cherished. I used to say something, even though tomorrow this man does not end up becoming president, he has left a mark. 
a mark that will be discussed about even many years after he's gone. As the man who shook the political landscape of Nigeria. A man who dared the so-called owners of Nigeria. Look at the love. And this is not happening in only one part of um, the country. The other time he was in Kaduna, where he went to visit the nursing school and give them money to. You saw what happened. So it's happening in the north, it's happening in the east, it's happening in the south, it's happening in the west, it's happening everywhere. The man is cherished, the man is loved. And he earned it because of how he decided to live his life. It's hard to see a Nigerian politician who lives his life like this man. Character, competence, capacity, all. He has it. And the people who are fighting against him knows. But, you know, they, they are scared that, okay, this man will remove food from our mouth. And that is why you see they are fighting him. But no matter how they fight him, no matter how they lie against him, no matter how the likes of Renu, Boala, um, Sowori, um, Doin Okupe, and their likes come out to say things about him that are not true, it won't change the love Nigerians have for him. Instead, it will go ahead to gain him more people. So that's it, guys. I said, let me show you the video. Thanks for watching and God bless you.